Hi, my name's Chris Blombeck, and I'm the servant to Roxy. Roxy's the Pat's Peak Golden Retriever. She's been here for eight years. She'll be eight in April, actually. And uh, she's been a fixture here at the mountain for the last few ski seasons. Roxy's first day of work here was officially in 2008 when she came into our lives. And uh, she's been dominating the slopes here at Pat's Peak ever since, hitting up people for cookies and french fries. So a day in the life of Roxy starts mid-morning when we get here. We cruise the parking lot to make sure everything's going well there. We'll come on up to the main office and then she'll do what we call the biscuit tour. She'll stop at ski services, stop at ski school, stop up in accounting, and she'll also stop upstairs in uh, Jim Wall's office. She'll come back down, she'll kind of just relax. She'll wait for me to go to breakfast. We'll go to breakfast and then she'll work the crowd in the base lodge for a little bit of, you know, maybe some hash browns or some eggs or some toast, some straight pieces. Her out of bounds area is obviously where the food is being served in the main cafeteria and uh, she knows that she can't step inside the kitchen area or where they're serving the food. Um, but where they're eating the food, sometimes she's, she can kind of blur the lines a little bit. Then she'll come down, she'll have a relaxing morning. And then, uh, you know, on or around after lunch sometime, we'll head out for our hike and she'll follow me up, depending on the day. If it's a little too cold, she might get to the edge of the deck and she says, Dad, you're on your own today. Most of the time she does follow me though and uh, we'll do a hike out to Cascade Basin all the way up to the top of the mountain and then back down. And then towards the end of the evening, she'll just relax in the office when the place gets a little bit busier and she just hangs out, always looking for the stray biscuit that's here and there. And she loves the shift change because that's new employees coming in and she'll hit them up. I think um, she gets herself in more trouble than he realizes. <laughs> I know in the past, when she was small, you would see Roxy with a glove in her mouth running across the front lawn with about 20 kids behind her chasing her trying to grab the glove or the ski pole or whatever it is she chose to steal that day and usually Cliffy was out there apologizing for Roxy's actions. Nowadays she's a little less lively and she's uh, more content to lay on the deck and just wait for people to drop food. She clearly gets a lot of treats throughout the day but she's also a very active dog so she's burning a lot of energy. Uh, she gains a couple of pounds every ski season and then we put her on a nice little diet during the summer months and we do a lot of hiking in the off season. So when I go on vacation, Sarah Demons, who works in mountain operations, does a really good job of her and Connor take good care of uh, Roxy. They are um, two peas in a pod when they're together. So and she gets very excited even hearing his name. It's pretty hilarious. We go, come out hiking, like she goes fishing with us. We go up to the pond, usually in the summertime, she, we can't keep her out of the water. No, she definitely uh, brings a lot of joy to our family. So, And I get to babysit her this Wednesday, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Roxy's job responsibilities are to greet all of our customers and make sure that kids have somebody to pet every day. She loves the kids. She'll lay out here on the snow. I've seen as many as eight to nine kids just petting her constantly, and she just sit back and enjoy. She is very patient and lets all of them love her and pet her and adore her and hug her. So as you can see, Roxy's quite a hit around here. And that's the day in the life of Roxy. <laughs>